Hey guys, Jana Lindsay here. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. And um, for all my local friends who have had the the uh, the um, icky weather over all the weekend, I hope you guys are good and you're safe um, and all that stuff. Um, I have popped on here for a minute because uh, sometimes people outside of Alabama or let's just lump in the southeast don't quite understand our whole weather mess we have going on down here y'all know what i'm talking about mess it's like you just want to say bless it when you're talking about mother nature down here because she just ain't all she just ain't all there anymore not that she ever was so here it is this it is so if you're thinking about moving to alabama or let's just say the southeast there's a few things you need to know we take our football seriously we really do don't plan events around football season because nobody's gonna show up because that's just how it is me personally i don't really give to hoot to the way about football but Alabama as a whole and the Southeast as a whole, we, we like our football. Number two, we like our sweet tea even more. So if you come down here and you ask for sweet tea, don't complain when it tastes like molasses because that's our sweet tea. Y'all live down here and know it. Just you, 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 you feel me. We, we get <laughs> Number three, the weather. The weather. The weather to say the least. I would use the word erratic, but I don't think it's quite strong enough. I would use the word stupid crazy either one of those will work the weather here is absolutely crazy stupid it really is uh so let's do a little explaining for those of y'all that live outside the southeast um and this is north alabama tennessee valley area is particularly where i'm talking about saturday we had uh weather i want to say it was probably in the 80s um i know it was 70 75 plus so i, I have not checked i want to say 80 degrees and we had tornadoes saturday afternoon we were warm it was rainy and then it was tornadoes saturday afternoon um i know hazel green was hit particularly hard and i use the word hard a little loosely because if i bring up 2011 if y'all were here for 2011 what we got on saturday was nothing um of course i say that if you're going through that it is something and um but in the grand scheme of things honestly it wasn't horrible it could have been a whole lot worse the way our weather was going so that was saturday and i think Pretty much most of the power to Madison County has been restored. I did see early this morning a little blip there near Plevna, which if you're not from here and you see Huntsville, you go northeast, you'll see New Market, straight north of New Market, almost at the Tennessee state line, is Plevna. I think there was a couple little blips up there of um, residents without power, but I do believe Huntsville Utilities has done, has pretty much got everybody back on now, um, which hats off to them. They've done a phenomenal job. I know they work through the night saturday night and then all day sunday so but weather yeah weather, weather's crazy and then we've got the temperature absolutely just kept dropping sunday to this point uh, we've got right at five inches at my house and so which is which is odd for us we don't it's say something about the south and particularly alabama when the weatherman says we get in snow we're not like we're gonna get ice because we don't really get snow we get ice you know, we, we we get that nasty black ice, you know, the, the really the really icky stuff that you can't see because it blends in with the road and it makes it really dangerous to drive. So if you're thinking of moving here or you've just recently moved here and you can't figure out why we shut down for, for snow, this is why. That and um, we don't have ice trucks, salt trucks, whatever, equipment, plows, whatever you want to call it. We don't have the equipment because we don't do this but on rare occasions. So we don't have the equipment to keep the roads cleared that it's safe to travel. So this is why Alabama and I would say the Southeast kind of shuts down when it snows because that is safe for everybody. Um, I know our buses and schools really aren't built for cold weather. So you just get used to it. Um, but this is it right here, y'all. This is Alabama. This is us. If you're thinking of moving here um, and you're moving from somewhere where it's cold, don't don't get rid of those snow suits and your coveralls because you're likely going to need them. Maybe once a blue moon, but you might need them. Uh, like I said, five plus inches or five, almost. We're like four and three quarters, I do believe, this morning that we measured one place or hubby did. Um, so there you go. Hey, if you are thinking of moving to Alabama, the Tennessee Valley in particular, um, give me a call. Oh, actually, Southern Middle Tennessee, because I serve that area as well. Um, Jana Lindsay Realtor, uh, my number is 256-653-7533. I hope you guys have a great Monday, a blessed week, a blessed New Year. Guys, y'all, what a way to start the New Year. You know, if it, you know, when, it's one thing about the South. When we start and finish things, we do it with, we, we do it big time. <laughs> or maybe a little crazy is better. Anyways, y'all have a great Monday, great week. Hope you have a blessed year. 
if you need have any real estate needs you know who to call this girl right here um i'm gonna get off her because it's cold and you'll believe it or not this is a whole nother subject i'm actually allergic to the cold yes i am so i'm gonna get in before i break out y'all have a good day bye